Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we're going to take a look at the latest software update for Samsung One UI 6.0 with Android 14. Now this one is finally beta 4. I know a couple days ago I just uploaded the last update. In the video I stated it was beta 4. I was just a couple days too early. That one was just a beta 3 hotfix for Wi-Fi 6. Now this one is the official Samsung One UI 6.0 beta 4, and you can see that because of the size. This thing is right over a gig, and this is also giving you the October 1st security patch. We're getting the October patch one week early, which tells me that they are very close to finishing the beta program for Samsung One UI 6.0 with Android 14. My guess is that we'll probably see this at the end of October, maybe early November. We'll probably have one or two more updates after this one, maybe one full beta update and then one hotfix update because there are still a few known issues. Now with this update, some of the known issues is going to be motion photo is not available. So if you try to open up or turn on motion photo, you might notice that your camera will keep on crashing. Uh, also too, infinite reboot occurs when entering maintenance mode. Now, not too many people know about maintenance mode. Not too many times would you have to go into maintenance mode. So that shouldn't be too much of a worry, but make sure you don't turn it on because then you will actually be in a infinite reboot loop. And then also still, uh, kids app cannot be installed after updating from One UI 5 to One UI 6. It has to be installed in mid-September as a separate app, public open at the end of September. Now this version right here will end in ZWIC. The bugs that have been fixed, uh, they're able to fix onboarding failure when retrying login after initializing Samsung Pass or logging out of Samsung account. Also, they have fixed the problem that voice recognition is not possible when you say answer the phone while receiving a call. And then they also fix the Google Assistant execution problem when swiping up in the gesture mode of the navigation bar. So when you swipe up from the corner to open up Google Assistant, they were able to fix it. And then many other improvements have been fixed as well. So now we're just going to download and install this update. So it is fairly large, again, right over one gig. And so that's why it's gonna take a little bit of time, about two or three minutes. We're gonna take a look back at a few different applications and services to see what we can find ourselves of what was also brand new. So we'll take a look at Samsung Home, the Samsung Camera, the Gallery, Samsung Health, and also My Files to see if there's any newer versions with this update as well. Now, the cool thing that you can do in Samsung One UI 6.0 is that during these, these updates, these monthly updates, you can choose which apps you would like to update along with it or not. So if you are currently running a version of any of these applications that you actually currently love, and then you would like to manually update them later, you can actually toggle those off. So any of them that are selected may update if there is a update with it. So it's probably more than likely just looking inside of the Galaxy Store and if there's anything sitting in the Galaxy Store for updates, it will update it for you. If some of these are actually listed in there that should have an update and you deselect it, you'll be able to manually do that at another time. Now make sure you guys stay tuned to the very next video as well because as we're going through Samsung One UI 6.0, some of the brother and sister applications of Samsung, you know, basically from Good Guardians and Good Lock, a lot of those modules are getting updated as well too. There's one that's bringing in a brand new feature that I'm sure not many people know about. So make sure you stay tuned to the next video so you don't miss out on something that could be a game changer. And it's also at this point in the video that I like to state that if you're brand new here at the channel, Jimmy is promo. You appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Make sure you hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. So now that the update is done and complete, how about we go through and take a look at a few things just to see if there is anything brand new with a few applications and services. And there is one thing that I am kind of noticing. And if you saw that for just a quick second right there, you can notice now when you get notifications through the notifications, notifications bar on the very top. The icons are actually not the normal stock icons that are sitting right here. It's actually going with the material you, or I should say the palette color 
that you have selected. So the palette color that I have is showing these colors here. And now I had one of the icons showing this little green color that I have. It's a darker green. And then that other icon that we just had, which was basically it was pairing with my tablet upstairs, was this color here. So it looks as if they actually went through. And if you get notifications, you can see the actual icon from the application, but it is now in the color of your palette form. So that is just something that I just noticed right now uh, once I swipe down. Now, the next thing that we're going to take a look at is Samsung Home. Now, this one right before the update was sitting at 15001142. This one's now sitting at 15001154. So it looks like a newer version of Samsung Home is here. So if you had any issues or problems, animations or anything like that right here, it has now been fixed. Then we're gonna take a look at the camera, and I believe there should be a new version, I think, just because they're talking about how motion photo and a few other things is you know, either having problems or was fixed. So basically right here, the camera used to be 14.00.012, now it is 14.00.067. So we have a newer version of the camera application. Now take a look at gallery. Gallery before this update was sitting at 15.00.025, it is now 15.00.028, so a newer version of the Samsung Gallery. Then I also want to take a look at Samsung Health, and I'm still waiting for us to be able to change the fluid ounces per cup. So theirs is a cup, and if you state, yes, I drank a cup, or I drank two cups, three cups, the ounces could be wrong. So I'm waiting for the ability of us to actually customize the size of the cup that we're stating we're drinking. So we'll take a look at that here in just a minute as well, too. So Samsung Health used to be 625.0051. So it looks as if it's the exact same version here. So maybe they didn't add it in just yet, but we can still take a look to see if it was sitting there. Then I also took a look at Samsung Files. So let's take a look to see if we have a newer version here. So for my files was 15.00.046. This one is 15.00.049. So a newer version of Samsung's My Files. Then let's take a look at Samsung Wallet. And I believe that this one should also have a newer one here too, just as a guess. This one was 5275. Looks as if it's the exact same. So I was wrong there. So 5275. So it's the exact same version of the Samsung Wallet. And then I do want to take a look at Samsung Game Launcher just for fun, because it was actually just sitting right here. So now let's take a look to see if this one has updated and changed. It was 70038. So it looks as if 70038 is the exact same. Now you can see here again, it's it's pretty similar to what the application would be when it comes down over into uh, that application. I believe it's actually more of a white color. So it, it did go again with that palette color that I chose because blue was kind of another little color that would work well with this color palette that I have sitting here. Now, if we go back over into this, this little update, just to see exactly what it was again. So again, for the bugs that's been fixed, they were talking about Samsung Pass and Samsung Account, which was kind of why I thought Samsung Wallet would have been updated. Um, but it looks as if at least they still fixed a few things sitting inside of there. There's just no newer version, um, but they were able to fix a problem there. And then also same thing when it comes down to Google, when it's the, the portion of answer the phone, as well as the Google assistant on the very bottom. And then also all those other improvements, which basically we're going through it. And we found a bunch of brand new versions of different Samsung applications. So here you can see that we have that Android security patch of October 1st. So now we're just gonna go through here, see what the Samsung mobile security page has to say about this update and how much of, of whatever was fixed. So here we are, and actually it doesn't even say October just yet. So this is still super very early and they didn't give us the information about October 1st. So I don't really know exactly how many things were fixed on the Google side of things and on the Samsung side of things on if it was critical, high or moderate. But yeah, so we are a little early still when it comes down to that piece of information. But this is pretty much everything that I know so far for this update. If anything else is big that comes through with this, you know that I'll come back with a follow-up video talking about some of the cool things. But again, make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video. I found a really cool sister or brother application from Samsung that has a improvement on there, giving a brand new feature and ability that I think we're probably gonna see on other phones 
with Android 14 in the near future, but Samsung was able to bring it a little early again. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.